Okay, sorry about that. I had a quick phone call that I had to take. So hopefully we don't time out of this. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep this. And we'll pass through here. Sorry about that. I have my little brother called. I need to call him again. I was just right in the middle of this. Oh, we're playing against an aggro deck. Um, just going to play this. We're going to look for uh, a deafening clarion here. That's annoying. We don't really have a lot of good answers to that in game one. Um, I'm gonna put this on top. Though I might not have time to actually hold up a counter spell. At least the games are gonna be quick. So I'm gonna look for to counter something. Um, and then just hit this with a Yeah, so we're gonna just counter this because I have to like also fix my draws. Uh, I'm going to put this on top. I need a way to win. And I think that that is going to help me. It's going to at least help out a little bit. And at least it's a, it's a route to victory. And once again, I'm just going to take this, take this damage. I'll either counter something or justice strike something. Oh, wow. This makes me think my Teferi is definitely not going to, or my Niv is not going to live, but. So I can hit this, or I can guarantee, more guaranteed, I keep up a counter spell. I think I'm just going to keep a, a counter spell and then just cycle this if I need to. I'm just going to hit this Adanto because it's going to deal 4 damage. Instead of going upstairs. Gross. Give me land. That's not a land. <clears throat> Play this and then pass just to strike anything. Okay, we're gonna get that out of here. Because if I hit this, then the Niv can still defend me through um, a heroic intervention. We're just not winning through, uh, likely, we're, unless there's a <clears throat> whatever on the top, we're not winning through a um, Conclave Tribunal, especially considering now that they can cast it and attack. So we need to have like a Teferi on top of our deck right now. Nope. Our deck's not very good against aggro game one, which is part of what we we built it a little bit. <clears throat> so 
So we want Lyra, Shalai, binding this, seal away. I actually like negate. So a lot of cards to bring in. So I'm probably like we won't keep all of these. This needs to go. Uh, these need to go. These need to go. Then I'm going to slim down on Teferi, slim down on Niv. Then cut some of the sabotages because the um, the negates are just better at doing what the sabotages. And keep the counter spells. We'll go like this. Just tuning in. Have you seen Adrian Sullivan? Yeah, yeah, I saw Adrian Sullivan's list. I, I actually played it. I think I, I streamed it a little while ago with Flame. It's a deck that hoses the mirror. Like, holy shnikes. <sighs> Like you want to win mirrors, then that is where it's at. <clears throat> All right, well, let's. I would like to play first. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. We have a Clarion. We have a good curve. You have to put pressure on. You can't just like be a hundred percent reactive against this mono white deck. A syncopate here would be nuts. All right, another land is also good. Me and Aiden played a lot. I like it mostly just Harris, but it's not really a control deck. Yeah, it's like it's just a Niv deck. All right, so we're gonna take our sweet two for here. And don't get me wrong, I love me some Niv, but like, I think that just opens you up across the board to just get yourself into trouble. Because I, I still think this is the best card in the deck. <sighs> Adanto. Whoa, man, this is this is quite the curve from the home team. We're gonna run the Lyra out next turn because even if they get rid of it, wow. Legion's landing. Banalish Marshall, okay. I think I'm just going to Clarion so that they don't flip that Legion's Landing. Even though that's kind of mopey. I really don't want them to flip this Legion's Landing. But I also kind of want to be mana efficient. Because <clears throat> if I just play Lyra, then they get to bash for free here and flip this, assuming they have like a, a Conclave Tribunal. So let's just be an adult. And then I still don't think I'm attacking because I'm only gaining two life. And gaining two life isn't worth taking um taking three I'm going to tuck that with Teferi right quick Or I could just play a Lyra. I think I'm just going to tuck this. Like, let's just keep them the one card a turn next turn. And then if I hit a land drop next turn, I can go Lyra plus Counterspell, which is like what we want to do. It's a lot of pride mates. Wow. Yeah, I still think I'm just going to go Lyra plus Counterspell. And then just sandbag the Clarion.
It's been a very good draw for us. Everything's just kind of lined up. All right, get that out of here. This means that the frenzy is going to come down. Okay. Opponent scoops it up. I'm going to get some more coffee. I'll be right back. How are you, Mr. Michael Flame? I'm going to just put some music on here to listen to my headphones because I just want to, got to kind of focus some more, do probably less chat because I just got to figure this deck out. I like this deck a lot. I just need to figure out how to, how to play it and such. All right, submit. Good 5 0 standard last night. I had to play. I was getting knocked out of top 16. Oh, of, uh, you guys had five, five round FMs for standard last night. That's great. All right, we have two removal spells and opt in the lands that we need. I think I'm going to keep this. All right. So it looks like we're going to go turn two removal spell, turn three removal spell opt, and then try to figure it out. But even no play, they got to have a play. Man, Danto's the scary one. So there's uh, turn off, turn off auto yields. So if there's something worth hitting here, we get it. Okay. So our Clarion doesn't really do that much. So let's just go like this. Put it on the bottom. We hit it to Fairy, which is nice. I'm just going to wait. We're going to kill this before combat, though. So inside of combat, we're going to get rid of this so that the landing doesn't flip. Hopefully they play something here so that we can get two things with our Clarion, which they're kind of incentivized to do. History is tough. All right, we're going to put that on top. And we're just going to Clarion. Yep, they gain their life. The next turn we might just Clarion again, or to ferry this Adanto. I don't really like how the pacing of this game is. Okay. Oh, now we're just super dead. Especially considering this is a knight. So if I block here, gain 5, I'll go to 12, take 4, take 5, this is a knight 2. Oh, the first strike will kill this, so I'm going to have to either sack here to keep it, 
and then it's just 4, 5, 9. Yeah, we just have to play Lyra and hope. Just have to hope that our last card isn't Conclave Tribunal. Because the first strike damage, if they attack with Banalish Marshal, will um, make it so they have to sack the bodyguard. God, the last card of the tribunal. Ugh. What a beating. 17 people? Oh, so you just barely made it. I think the Lyra was our better play because if we play Lyra, all of a sudden they can't attack. Because this blocks here, and then this becomes a 4-3, this becomes a 4-3. And if they have to sack here, I guess they could have just killed me anyways, right? So block here, 4-3, four, 4-4, three, 3-, four, 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 three. I'd have gone a 1. And then I could have deafening Clarion and then been in good shape. Unless they tried to keep this and then sacked here. So I just needed that not to be a Clarion, or not to be a Conclave Tribunal it was. Ugh. You're talking about Aiden, like Aiden that used to play Storm and was sassy? Is that who the guy you're talking about? I missed that guy. Yep. All right, ship this. Keep this. At least one to play here. Uh, we will put this on top. Nice thing is there, I think if we win the die roll there, we win that match, which is nice. Like, you know, to have a good setup and have played well too. I think if we win the die roll against Mono Red to be in good shape. So I'm going to counter anything here. Or just sing or, or terminate this. I think I make one of your two. So I can see why. Well, black green's on the on the rise on Moto. Yeah, and we're just going to do this while it gets good. That's what I was just worried about. And I don't know what it is, but I struggle with black green a lot while playing this deck. So we're going to keep this so that we can um, terminate plus opt. That syncopate was nice. Being able to syncopate a risk factor would also be nice. All right, that one's good. They're obviously have another one here. And I think we're just gonna go. Oh shoot! God damn it! All over the place this morning. Now I'm super dead. I'm just like two for one myself. Can't deal with this thing. Ugh. Had to make sure it was a 2-2, two -two and it wasn't quite a 2-2. Two -two. <clears throat> I really dislike... Uh, like, I think that Seal Away is what beats... Like, how the black-green deck beats this deck is when Vivian is really good, in my opinion. And, like, the Seal Away just makes the Vivians better. God, I'm so going to get torched here. At least I can expansion... Yeah, whatever. We're just going to do this. Get this off the battlefield. It's going to be diff tough, difficult for my opponent to have enough damage to get me. They could they could frenzy me, but like, you know, you can't just sit here and not do anything. Oh my god, that was so frustrating. <coughs> if 
I draw land, I can explode this thing. Pass through the turn. It's going okay. We're getting beat up here a little bit. I'm just going to take this shot. We die like lightning strike plus shock, but I can't counter something on the way down. I have two, yeah. I've been streaming, yeah, just. We're going to take this one. And then we're just going to. If we lose to. If they have like exactly shock plus lightning strike, then they have shock plus lightning strike. Oh, no, you play to land, okay. Huh, we're actually doing okay now. All right. So now I can handle... I can handle syncopate, or I can handle, like, risk factor. We're just going to do this. Um, we don't want this because it's effectively the same thing as cycling it. We have bomb. It's not a bomb. There's a bomb. Blue, 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 red, red, red. All right, dude, you gotta kill me now. They pretty much have to kill me this turn, I think. Well, that's part of a draw that's gonna kill me this turn. Oh. Wow, that Clarion was nice. It even cycles. This card's ridiculous. Oh, I should have. I punted. I should have just given it um, lifelink. All right, now the game's over. Yeah, I've been streaming a lot. I've, I've streamed a little less Death Shadow recently because I've got to figure out how to play standard. So I've been a little less in that category. One, two, three, four, five. So I can play Teferi and have Negate up, which is sounds good to me. Means that this is lethal next turn, even if my opponent doesn't play a spell, because we do one from the Teferi, one from another one from Teferi, and then one from our draw step. Everyone was all hyped about standard arena. Standard's great. Like this is this is probably one of the better. This is the better stand. This is the best standard format that I have played seriously. And I've, I've probably played serious Magic seriously for probably five years now. And this is just the best standard by far. So you're dead on the table, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> so I want the Lyra. Want binding plus Shalai. I want this. I want to. We're on the draw, so I'm going to cut syncopate. Cut search. Cleansing Nova is actually not that great against this deck because they don't have that many creatures, especially after sideboard. I like negate better than sabotage. Partially because we're bringing in so much removal. And then these insights are pretty slow. 
but I do like sabotage over insight. I found any standard. I found any standard with cogs and dragons. Pretty fun. Yeah, I thought that was good as well. So I wonder if this deck needs like a couple more bombs in it, because we've only got like one, two, three, four, five, nine, eleven ways to like win the game. I think I want these. I don't know if I'm sideboarding too much. These are too slow. Let's get these out of here. But we have a lot of removal. I think I want one more bomb. Let me make sure I can win the game. Because like we're all just we're all just removal. Like any standard with those sets, right? Those sets in. I know the highlights of standard in recent years. I would agree. Standard with like, with uh, uh, Collected Company wasn't that great. It was okay. Emrakul wasn't good. Smuggler's Copter wasn't good. Sahili Rai. Sahili Rai, at least the games were nice. Like, I enjoyed the games a lot. Surprised we won that match, even though we tossed. We tried our best to toss it. Take out two more sabotages. You keep syncopate on the draw. I'll do that on the play for sure. There, Mike. Ah, uh, this hand's solid. I would not. I don't think I would keep this hand if I was on the play because we need more lands. But we do have an opt. Yeah, this hand's probably good. Play or draw because we we have two bombs. The games get a little grindier after sideboard. I found the more I just left that the Theros at least. But I guess I'll get in this one with the Forge and that's what I need. I got my first real standard deck. Dude, Theros. Theros is good standard. I'm going to draw against the Aggro decks. I think this deck is a little different though. Like, like, because they, they get bigger after sideboard. But I might be wrong. I want to have enough answers to Frenzy. <coughs> okay. This is going to be a good Clarion. I mean, if they go Clarion into Frenzy, then like I'm going to feel a little bad. Hey, Nameless. You still just beating everybody with that shadow? Just putting that on top. I should be playing Shadow now. I've got a tournament next weekend, a modern one. But then the Invitational is the week after that. And I'm just like super struggling with Standard. Yeah, see, there's a Frenzy. I'm going to counter anything. And then I might just Teferi tuck the Frenzy. Not good. Oh, that sucks. I kind of want to just counter this, as odd as that sounds. I think I'm definitely going to counter that, um, that opt, because like we just we're not dying with spells in our hand. But in modern, I'm fine. Yeah. So what are we doing? Are we going to ferry up with the gate? And then that's probably going to mean they have to send at least a decent amount of damage at it. And then we can play Lyra with the gate if the Teferi lives. Or I can just tuck this frenzy. I really don't want to tuck the frenzy. I think we're just going to go up. And then make it so my opponent's got to commit at least a couple cards to 
or an attack phase or two to get rid of this. Well, now they're not going to have to commit that many cards. I'm just going to counter this. It works too well with the Frenzy. Maybe I was supposed to tuck the Frenzy. So I'm only taking one. Maybe I was supposed to tuck the Frenzy. Or just like hold this counter. Not gonna block anything with first strike. Like I'm not gonna block the daredevil if they attack with it. This character. So this is we just let them draw the cards because they have um because they have frenzy in play. Because that's a Nambo combo there. You can have a man. Spell here would be nice. Spell here would be very nice. That is very nice. I'm going to camp. Well, so maybe I should have taken the damage. Um, upkeep, upkeep, upkeep. Um, I guess I can just wait and respond because it's going to be a lot tougher for them. Like, I might just kill both of these lava runners with this experimental uh, frenzy blow up on the stack because it's going to be a lot harder for them to go like two spells after that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to kill both of these um, D2 lava runners here because it's just going to be harder for them to kill my Lyra if these are gone. Maybe I'm supposed to take some damage there. I have the Lyra. I probably should have taken the damage on at least some of those. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. They'll probably pop it now. Yeah. And this Lyra did did its job, but maybe I should have taken some damage. Cause like being at 19 versus 23 and having them have less cards. We're getting Lyra Bane fired. Yep. Yeah, I think I fucked up. Okay.
going to counter anything I can possibly counter here. Looking for like a Niv. Niv or another Lyra, just some way to end the game. I should have taken some damage. I'll probably encounter anything here. Like this thing's gonna turn into such a headache. Chain gang. Need a bomb. Okay, there's a friendly from them. Uh. Maybe I, I think I messed up. I should have taken some. I should let them. I should have taken some of that damage. Because with the Lyra, and it's not like I'm finishing the game. Yeah, I punted. About to get Bane fired out of this game. One more point. All right. I messed up. I should have taken some of that damage. Should have taken some damage. Okay. I'm going to play. So we're going to bring these in. And cut these. I probably should cut this for... A lava coil as well because they could have rekindling phoenix. Motor's tweaking out. All right, we've got sweeper into threat threat, which is what we are looking for. We're going to lead off with this so that we can play, because uh, it's the only land that doesn't un come untapped with our island. All right, we're going to do the same thing here. Because the rest, all the rest of our hand just comes into play untapped. So this is a hand that we lose with a frenzy. If my opponent frenzies me, we could struggle. Because they're setting in for a long game, we don't really have a good way to fight the long game yet. OK. 
Okay. I'm just going to play the Crackling Drake. Because it can trips. Another treasure map. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to jam this. I'm not going to jam it. Son of a bitch, I'm all over the place. So we had two of these Deafening Clarion, so I think I'm just going to use one of them right now. Because it's going to make the second one better. <clears throat> as mopey as this is to trade one for one here, but it's either that or not really do anything. And then we start the chip damage roll. I'm all over the place this morning. Right here is where I want like a Teferi or a Niv. There's that runaway Steamkin. All right, we have a second Lyra, so. Um, cast three spells, then I can't block with this. I'm just going to hold. We could bane fire my Lyra. We're gonna have a lot of mana next turn. That's exactly what's happening. Okay. I'm just gonna block. Then I'm just going to play another one. I actually think that I'm going to just terminate this and then crack for two also. Because I do want to get a clock going here. Because like I want, I want to try to punish them if they keep fiddling around with my Lyra. So much mana and so many cards. It's a good start. Okay, so do we risk? Because then any burn spell kills my kills my Lyra, which I do not really in for. Can I actually just race my opponent? I think I can. I think it's my best avenue of victory. I don't really want Deafening Clarion. Because it's just going to get my Lyra killed.
That's not good. I guess this steam kid's also gonna get out of control. Okay, so now we can clear on because like if they had a way to deal with this, they would have gone here and here. So let me attack first, and then I'm gonna just death and clear on my opponent. Get these two out of here. Because they have enough mana to do anything. All right, come on, my angel. Come on, my angel. Yep. We got work to do, man. I got to figure out how to play standard. I got to really hope that they don't deal with this thing. Because I'm not. I don't think I'm beating. Because this is going to be a three turn, four turn clock if they kill this Lyra. All right, we got lucky there. But that's that's the aggro matchup. Like if I was on the play here, I think I win this matchup. <clears throat> yeah, I streamed. I played like 35. I played like five leagues yesterday. Streamed two of them. Playing a different version of it, though, Archmage. I think that the Crackling Drakes are just a little worse yesterday than uh. A little worse now that Black Green is like coming back and gearing itself to fight the mirror, and the Crackling Drakes are just splash damage from the mirror. Because like I lost, I lost the black green yesterday enough to where like I shouldn't lose the black green that much. That was a little frustrating. I would like to play first. I think I'm going to keep, because, like, if we're playing against Control, we can expansion, like, a draw spell to get us out of this. We have two really good cards against Aggro. This is kind of a dud, but we need lands. Like, these two are kind of duds, but we need lands to operate anyways. Yeah, perfect mana. Looks like we're playing a Mirror. Search for his Kanta coming right on time. Land here, Bedis. Nice. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. There's an argument to copying that. Now I'm going to copy a counter spell here. Especially if it's a sabotage to set up my their opt-in, okay? <clears throat> Wall of Owens is really good. I hope that OBS is working. Because it's, it's having some malfunctions on my end. Oh, it looks like it's just my crappy second monitor.
Yeah, my monitor is tweaking out though. Like this is what it looks like. I don't know what this is. It's just this internet. I'm just gonna close out of this and open it back up. All right, now we just need to hit land drops. Cause our hand is not very good. All right, well, Niv's the best draw we have. Yeah, that was odd. The best draw we have that's not a land. And the gate would have been sweet. I think I've got to count. I think I've got to copy this. Like, we're not going to win if we miss land drops. This is going to help me do that. God, gross. We can still bluff a negate. Yeah, like we're gonna lose to Teferi, we're also gonna lose to Miss Land Drops. Nice. Coward. They even have to discard, which is kind of nice. But the discarding in game one's not that big of a deal. No, we want that land. Yep, we're gonna let him have this one. We're not gonna fight over this. Because we have lands, they have plenty of lands too, they just discarded one. I think that's often pretty wrong in these mirrors. Like, you just need to make sure, you want to hit like 10 or 12 land drops so that your nivs are really good as well. Like you can play niv, defend it, draw a bunch of cards that I just don't really ever want to draw. There's so many dead cards in the matchup game one that I just don't ever, like, want it to land. No, we're going to keep this. <clears throat> All right, looks like our opponent's got Niv. I'm just gonna jam my own Niv now. I guess I can Nova. The problem is, Rafi, is I'm not winning if I go Nova, but then he just slams a Teferi. It's kind of like a little bit of a tough spot, but... Hopefully this strands like a dive down, though dive down is going to be good at some point.
Dude, Rafi, you got to get out of here with that crap. It's an opt. Okay, thank God. Clearly, we should be brewing. So what do we got? We got five, six, seven mana. Crackling Drake. That is okay. Annoying, but okay. We ditched a Clarion. We almost want to hit lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to jam Niv. Because if we hit a land next turn, then we can go Niv plus Clarion, which is going to kill Teferi or this Crackling Drake. If we untap with this, we likely just win the game. And the gate here would have been sweet. You have guaranteed land next turn because of this Kanta. Not necessarily, there's only five cards in the graveyard. I think I'm going to ditch this Teferi. Like, I just need land drops. Maybe I should have kept the Teferi. So I can play Teferi with Tuck back up. Yeah, that was stupid. I just got... Oh, man. Yeah, I should have I should have waited. Should have just kept this. Don't have it quite going on at the moment. So now we play Niv, kill this thing. I hope we don't get like expansion out of the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven. So we can keep this and flip this. Make sure I have the appropriate mana. Clarion, draw a card, ping this.
Could wait with a counter spell, but then I have to trade my Nev. Which this makes them have to they need to have a removal spell. Uh, they need to be able to counter this and have a removal spell. As opposed to double counter spell. <laughs> well, he has counters, Rafi. I'm dead anyways, right? Like either way, this lets this makes him see less cards. <clears throat> like it's it's bad both ways. Yeah. Yep. 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 Because like I make him. Like, by doing it right there, if he has a counter spell, then he uses a counter spell. He needs counter spell plus removal spell. And then he needs counter spell plus removal spell on his turn, but he gets to see one card. One more card. All right, we don't want... These Clarions can go. This Nova can go. Want this. Want our binding. Negate and negate. Cut one lava coil. <coughs> and that's just why we we ran we like got low on mana. We we fell behind so our opponent could just like do more stuff. And I think I made a mistake by binning that Teferi when I did, to try to hit a land drop, to be able to go like Niv plus do something. Because I could have gone Teferi plus Counterspell, and then tucked the Drake and just had time. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, what was this on top? I mean, we're going to do this to make sure that we can counter spell like a search for his Kanta or a treasure map here. Now we're ditching anything that's not a land. Okay. That feeling when you have to be productive today because you haven't been productive since Tuesday. It's nice we hit this invoke, which means we we aren't as afraid of like Ixalan's binding. I don't know. All right, moment of truth. Well, I'm going to counter a, I'm going to copy uh, an expansion here. How do you think, how do you handle one of the tribes? You play it in depth. Uh, I play it in. Give me one second. This thing's going to be kind of annoying, but if we get to Niv, then... <coughs> Gosh. Now we're just, now I'm just super dead. Maybe I should have been when I kept that Niv. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know too much about Green Tron to tell you the truth, but but I'm playing Green Tron, I'm just gonna struggle with blue light control on various versions. Yeah, I mean it's a little outside of my wheelbox. Wheelhouse. I really dislike this card in this deck. Like I always feel like that if if everything goes according to plan. It's just not that good. All right. Let's hit a land. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> Maybe I should have just bottomed everything that wasn't a land. Wait there with counter my snapcaster mage. Yeah, against blue white, your your decks, your decks like I think that the uh, the shadow deck is ahead of the blue white deck now because of how it's built. It's just too clunky. Yeah, but you just don't play the game late. Like many people sideboard in such a way that they try to play a long game against these control decks and just don't. Like don't like cut your Liliana. Don't even like Liliana's. Shouldn't even be in the sideboard, in my opinion. This hand's solid. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to play this search. Because we have to hit our land drops. You have another ability to match up. Because so many of their cards are bad. Against Tron, it's all about just... Just killing them is the name of the game. Like, I know that sounds kind of dumb. But, all right, land, please. Ditch that. God. We can't catch a break. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's like, it sounds kind of dumb, but that's the best way to do it. I don't think I'm going to Justice Strike this unless it gets huge. Because unless there's like a chance that it can get outside of Clarion range. Because we just need this Clarion to put in extra work for us. And Tron's just about mulliganing. Mulliganing um, aggressively for a threat. So that it's not been because the only opponent has a good long game. I did try the treasure map build. I thought it was very good in the mirror, and I think it was worse everywhere else. So what are the odds they have a counter spell? I bet they have a counter spell. This is just a beta account. Okay, they didn't. Or they didn't decide not to use it. Alright, now I'm just going to Clarion. We feel a little stupid, but like, I think I, I, they, them just holding up mana makes me think that they either have burn spells or counter spells, and burn spells could grow the Steamkin out of Clarion range. Okay, they just didn't have either. Alright. Well, we kill Steam Boy. They don't have any play. We are just taking one to turn. Yeah, we have enough to. Like, I want to deal with that because um, because I want to be able to insight. But I want to try to get a clear board to give me time to do this. Like, I would like to tap out next turn. But I'm likely just going to play on again. <clears throat> I 
I liked it more than Search. Most of my ships will. I like I like Search for Escanta better than Treasure Map. God, a land here would be sweet. Land would pretty much would do a lot of work. All right, I'm just going to draw two cards, try to hit a land drop. Okay, we hit a land drop. Hopefully they break there and hit a land. Destroy all creatures. Uh, yield until next end step. Now we just need a bomb. A bomb or counter spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight, so we can go. If we're playing untapped land, I can go insight and as Canta. Uh, do I just draw two cards? No, we're okay. Nice. Play our Drakey boy. All right, let's to ferry. Not exactly sure if I can afford to jam it or not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to jam this to ferry. Then we can hit a creature. I think I'm just gonna insight and ditch my, uh, I don't know, my expansion. I can kill my opponent with my expansion. Maybe I was supposed to sit. Oh, wait, we missed. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So let's cast this. We're going to ditch this lava coil. So I hit like an opt. Then I can just expansion to copy my opponent's burn spell, send it at them. So they have two. That is good enough. Because now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we can do either double counter spell. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I can just flash this back right now, which I think I'm going to do. And now they need three burn spells to kill me. Or risk factor. I'm just going to let them draw the cards. Nice. Whew. We have many ways to skin the cat there. But I think it's good that we found a good conservative way to do it. So they're likely to have some counter spells, but I think I'm still just going to board like their mono red. I don't think they're going to afford to. Uh, Angels of heaven way. That's what we're going to do. 40 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good time. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hover Network. If you guys like what you see, you should hit the uh, follow button, which is linked below. And I appreciate it a lot. It makes the streaming all that much better for all of you guys. For me and, and I don't know, grows the, grows the environment. Nope, nope. Is this... Are we still in our first league? One, two, I think. Yeah. I will keep this hand. We've got like plenty of removal, some ways to gain life. We just have to hit lands, which we hit a land. Uh, this thing's likely dead, but I might take one to hit an Electromancer. All right, well now I'm just gonna Get this thing out of here. We missed a land drop. All right, this means we're going to be able to play Crackling Drake next turn. We hit a land drop. I could have just taken the cheap the two for there, but they have to play three one mana cantrip, one mana spells in order to get that thing above what I want it to be. So this means they have a burn spell. So I'm gonna block, take the two for one, and then next turn either jam Lyra to Fairy or Clarion. Clarion. Okay, yeah. I think this right here is my this right here is my best with the information they had. Like they'd have to go land fight with fire or like 
land shock plus, and we'll just tuck this thing in. Okay, I had a fire fire. Could have played Teferi and plus, I guess, but I didn't want to really go Teferi down. Yeah, she'll wait on Kira. Just counter this. And now we just go Teferi up. And we hit a bomb, so we need to hit a land next turn. Gas. Dude, when this card is good, it is unreasonable. Even if they cast a spell. What are my opponents splashing blue for? <clears throat> Go grab some more coffee. Hopefully my opponent isn't just salting off and timing me out here. That would be annoying. I guess while that's going on, we can do a... Oh, nope, they're playing. Okay. Can we just smoke this? Like, go here, tick up. Yeah, the Niv is just like not reasonable when it's good. And I think I would play more, but I just I don't think that it's very good against black green. And um I just don't think it's that good against black green. And I don't really want to play dive down in my control deck when it's a dead card against aggro and the whole deck is worse against the aggro decks. 47 people going. You guys are all great. It's been a great stream so far this morning. Appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Y'all are great. Would like to play first. Would like to mulligan. We have an opt. We have a lot of cheap interaction. I'm going to keep this and look to scry a land on the top. I guess hand's not even that bad against aggro on the play. Because we get to go, like, you know, sabotage here. Okay. Come on. Now we're dead. I guess what I had like, maybe I should have gone out of five. The hand had the tools. Now we're just dead because we, we need to hit lands and deafening clarion.
and this is going to flip next turn. This is the Marshall. I guess even Clarion doesn't do it for me. Because these two are protecting each other. I guess they're not protecting each other. Like the Clarion doesn't do as much as I want it to. <laughs> Dude. I'm sure that's why the, these amulet players are just sick. Like, have to subscribe on YouTube, Dylan. I really enjoy the stream. Good commentary, explaining your plays. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, there, Lucifer. Yeah, dude. I was looking at his thing, his Twitter, and like, that's why amulet players are just sick. Because if there is a lethal way to do that, like, oh, that's nuts. Okay, so insights come out, searches come out, expansions come out. If they are the bigger version of the deck, I kind of want to keep my Cleansing Nova in. I think we cut all of these. And maybe like one nib, because it's not going to be as good if they're looking to go big. Yeah, we're going to go like this. Yeah, like for everyone that's asking about it, this right here was the tweet from Brant, from Edgar Magalhaes. And this is your second turn of the game, and you, you have lethal. And like, I don't really know how that works, but I know it involves... Playing this amulet, uh, getting a Zuza, and then just going to town. That's why that deck's still very good. It's just hard to play. Dude, Twitch chat, you guys want to check out my our awesome tree we got? We now have our own little Christmas tree right there. And then our beautiful dog. Yeah. Uh, I feel like if I hit my third land drop, if I hit a white, I feel like I can't lose this. But if I don't find a deafening clarion, I'm in so much trouble. Let's look here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 looks. And I have two draw steps. So 12 out of 53, and I get two looks at it. I think I got a mulligan. <sighs> I have a shiv and fire. So I'm going to keep it. But, man, we've been... Ugh. All right. 
we're playing magic. The ship and fire looking sweet against the old X3 squad. Man. Yeah. I'm just going to deal with this. Yes. Uh. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm going to deal with this now so that they don't, before combat, convoke. Gosh. I think I'm going to do this too to make the convoke harder. Ugh, gross. All right. So what we hit up. We hit a Deafening Clear on next turn, and we are, we're kind of in it. Likely super dead, because they're going to be just sitting on like a Heroic Reinforcements or a Banefire. I think I have to play the Crackling Drake. Then I'm just dead to the shock. Ugh. I guess I actually have to go shock. I should have done this beforehand. Put on the bottom, Death and Clarion. God, man, what a beating. Blah. All right, let's jump back into another one.